Alright, I thought I'd show how to build a chicken coop for about a dozen chickens. This coop needed to be seven feet wide and five feet tall to fit in a fence. I thought I'd show it to you before I put the roof back and front on. If you have chicken wire by itself, it'll eventually deteriorate and stretch and start to rust and break apart. If you put it underneath or on top of a layer of this uh, what I call goat wire, it'll support the the chicken wire. So that'll make a nice floor. Um, the poop will fall through and then there's going to be a, a drop floor, a board that'll drop so that in the summer I can open it up and in the winter you can shut it. Um, the other thing, I got uh, perches going across there, <laughs> enough for a dozen, dozen hens. And then you can see how these lay boxes are built. And it's got a slanting floor. So the eggs are just going to roll out and this back is going to have a door that opens up so that I can uh, get the eggs out. This is actually for a friend. But uh, I got some food and water containers there. There'll be a second door in the back so you can, in the winter you might want to put their food and water in there. So you got a door on the back for the food and water, another door on the back to get to the three lay boxes. And then, uh, coming back around, there's the, the basic structure of this. The easiest way to build this is to build the two sides. Build them the same and then just start connecting your, your boards going across. And uh, so there you go. This last look inside before I put the front on. Wherever you have your your wire, you can cover it with a furring strip. This piece keeps the eggs back there. Metal strap on the perch. This drop the drop floor hinges right here, and so that whole floor drops down. The poop falls through, supported from the goat wire the chicken wire on top of it. There you go, we got the three slanted lay boxes so the eggs roll back. So it's sort of automated there, auto cleaning. And now it's time to put the front face on it. Here's the coop with the front face on. I just tacked that door there but it could be made into a functioning door later. And uh, doubled all the edges and sanded everything on the on the stair there, chicken ladder, so that they don't get splinters. And this is also a removable in case you want to shut everything down for the winter. Maybe you want to pull the pull the drapes down, pull up the ladder, and shut the door. You could shut them in that way. But, went around and belt sanded and doubled all the corners. Got a tin roof on it. That always helps things last. Pretty much everything was made out of three quarter inch plywood. The sides being the only exception. Sanded out little areas where your hand will be and rounded any edges that would need to be. Anything that someone's coming in contact with. Like here on these lay boxes, just sort of sanded and doubled everything so that, uh, you know, if little kids are getting the eggs, don't want them to get splinters and even sanded the edge of that tin. But, there you go. There's the back. And there's the whole coop.